Jackson and Gabe Vincent. The starters on the floor for the Gauchos. Hawaii wins the tip. They quickly move it toward the uh, offensive end and the shot inside is missed by Quincy Smith and the rebound finally comes down to Childress. So Hawaii with a quick strike there, Don, but they got nothing out of it. They got nothing out of it, but they got a couple guys up above the rim yeah, the and <laughs> the Gauchos didn't have anybody up there. Childress on top behind the back dribble, gets away from Bobbick, now kicks it back to uh, Kupchak, who's wearing number 42 tonight instead of 10. Now Childress, the right wing, will fire a long three, and he got it. Eric Childress, who hit five, or check that, Gabe, Ch uh, Gabe Vincent, I beg your pardon. Vincent hit five threes at Hawaii, and he starts off by swishing one deep from the right side uh, there, Don, for a three-nothing lead. Here is Bobak trying to answer. His three is good from the left side. So <laughs> Roderick Bobbitt just buried a three from the left, and so far... Two threes done, the rim hasn't been hit. Here's Childress to Kupchak inside, and Maxwell lays it up and in, and is fouled on the play. Good cut along the left baseline by Kupchak, and an excellent uh, awareness by Childress to find him. Yeah, great, strong drive by Maxwell to get to the rim. I think he went in with the idea maybe to dunk. He got hit, adjusted a little bit, made the shot. So Kupchak on the line, Maxwell 82% this season, and rims it out in and out, and the rebound pulled down by Mike Thomas. So the Gauchos lead it five to three. Quick pace early on in this game. We've played uh, just a minute 10 so far and already eight points. Here's the ball down low to Valdez, and uh, that's kicked out to the right wing, and with it is Quincy Smith. Now Smith goes into the right corner, and that is uh, Thomas with it. Thomas back to Smith, back to Thomas. Now they get it down to Yankovic, his first touch. He goes into a double team from the right post. He's tied up, and on the possession arrow, it'll go to the Gauchos. Good help defense by Michael Bryson. He was trying to make a pass out of, out of the double team, didn't go up with a shot, trying to get it over to Quincy Smith. Good D, as you mentioned, by the Gauchos. And Jankovic that time, Don, kind of did what one of your Cardinals, since for a big guy, he kind of pulled the ball down low a little bit, and that allowed Bryson to help out Beeler. Here's the pass into Beeler from the right side. Great bounce pass by Vincent, and Beeler scores, and it's 7-3 to three Gauchos. Good start for UCSB in this one. Here is... Bobbitt on a drive, goes down the lane, his shot is swatted by Bryson. And that looked like a volleyball spike, Don. <laughs> no well, it looked like Bobbitt was on his way down while Michael found another level, kept going up, and may as well block that with his elbow. <laughs> Here's Bobbitt now in the left corner, dribbles along the baseline, surprised he didn't step out, and now the pass inside to Thomas. Thomas went up and was fouled on the play, and that's gonna be on Beeler, and that's number one on the center. Yeah, I think he'll, you know, he can get him in bunches, too, which can be a little bit scary. So, uh, and he, he's guarding a really good player. That foul wasn't on his man. He came yeah. out to help. But uh, these guys will attack the rim, Hawaii. First free throw is no good. Mike Thomas, Don, only shoots 52%. He, a little less than that now. He's 32 of 63 now from the line, left-hander. And the next one, no good. So his... 52% free throw percentage is going to go down a little bit. And Bryson got the rebound for the Gauchos. 7-3 to three, UCSB with the lead. And UCSB with the ball. Kupchak bounces it to Vincent along the left side of the paint. Goes into the paint. Puts up a high arcing baby hook over Jankovic. And he knocks it down. Vincent has five points. It's 9-3 to three, Gauchos. Well, Jan Jankovic came over to help. He shot it over his own man and Jankovic. And Jankovic now has it on the left post, going against Beeler. His skip pass into the right corner, and a three on the way by Smith. Nothing but net. Well, you're so aware of Jankovic down low, you tend to, you know, I think they might even double team him, at least sag in to cheat on him, and it leaves the outside guys open. Well, Childress, I think, got away with a push that time, Don, with the off arm in the front court. Nine to six. The uh, Gauchos with the lead. Here is Bryson on top. Trying to get away from Valdez. Now kicks it right perimeter to Childress. Childress looking to get it to Beeler. He does on the right baseline. Going against Jankovic. Beeler has his dribble. Now one bounce dribble. Gives it up. Hands it off to Vincent with the shot clock running down. Gabe with a fade away from the right corner. No good. The rebound pulled down by Thomas. And here comes Smith up the floor on the left side. Now they work it to Thomas. Right side they go to Valdez. Valdez to Bobbitt. Now left side to Thomas. Looking for... Jankovic, he's got it on the left elbow, now squares up against Beeler, goes against Beeler, puts it up and scores, and a lot of contact. Jankovic wanted a foul there, Don. The Gauchos are lucky that the whistle didn't blow. That would have been two on Beeler. 
Yeah, I'm kind of shocked that uh, we didn't hear a whistle on that play. So good shot by Yankovic, and now down the lane is Vincent, lays it up and in, he scores, he's fouled, it counts. Gabe Vincent now has seven points, and the foul is on Quincy Smith, and that's his first team foul number two on Hawaii, but Don, what a move that was by Gabe Vincent, and he went with the layup with his off hand, his left hand. Yeah, sweet move by Gabe Vincent, but there's a difference between a, a guard going to the rim and a moment ago, Yankovic going to the rim. Much less contact, and Gabe's gonna be shooting a free throw. He missed it. Yankovic got hit yeah. as a big guy, big guy on big guy, and he's not shooting free throws. And Yankovic got the rebound there, so the Gauchos with the 11 to eight lead, 16-10 left first half. Here's Smith, now to Bobbitt. Bobbitt fakes out, cup check, then goes in for a floater from the right side of the paint. Missed it, scramble for the rebound, knocked to the far corner, and it's Bobbitt retrieving for Hawaii. Fresh shot clock, and the ball down low to Thomas on the baseline, on the right baseline, puts it up too hard, rebound Bryson. Michael got way up in the air for that rebound. Gives it up to Childress. And now to Bryson, three from way out. That hit, actually hit the backboard first, Don, and bricked off the back rim, and Hawaii with the rebound with Yankovic. Pretty early in the shot clock. Bobbitt now on top to Valdez. Valdez, little hesitation move. Left hand dribble down the lane, puts it up, no good. Fouled on the play, and he'll get two free throws after the media timeout, but a good start for the Gauchos. Good strong move right there by Valdez. I, I just, I, uh, Hawaii averages 37, but they only allow 31, so they have a plus six. Yeah. Two best rebounding teams in the league. Who wins that battle tonight? And it'll be key. Valdez, first free throw good. He shoots 68% from the line. He's uh, now a little bit better than that. 53 out of 77 for Aaron Valdez, who was fouled just before the media timeout. So it's 11 to nine. Gaucho lead is two. Valdez second is good. Aaron Valdez is 6'5", 190, but with his hairdo, <laughs> he's about what? 6'9". Six, six you sound, you sound Still like, 190. You sound like uh, the late great Chick Hearn in uh, Chevy Chase's movie Fletch. 6'5", six, 6'9", six, with the afro. Here's the play inside, and Beeler lays it up and in. Another good pass by Gabe Vincent. Don, another bounce pass by Vincent from the right side to a cutting Beeler. Well, defense is not there for Hawaii. They just, they're ignoring Beeler. Yankovic goes inside. His pass is deflected by John Green, who's in the game for the first time, but it goes to Smith. Smith gets it down to Yankovic on the, uh, the right baseline. He goes in hard, puts it up, and scores, and he split John Green and Sam Beeler on that move, and Yankovic with a very strong move, got the basket. Well, he feels he was fouled again, you know, a little frustration, pantomime out there, and he got hit by Beeler one time, and he felt green that time. Yeah, here is Vincent inside to Beeler, and Beeler under the basket had kind of a, a weird angle and did not even come close to it, Hawaii with the rebound. Yeah, he needed a compass. I mean, <laughs> yeah. he missed the rim by four or five inches. Yeah, he did. And Shot he it to the left too far, and I mean, he was right under the rim. Yeah. A little out of control, too. Here's Yankovic now on the left block against Beeler. Squares up, fakes the pass back out to the left. Now Yankovic with a baby hook. Got it. Boy, he's something. Well, he really took his time. In fact, to the point where what are you going to do with the basketball? You're holding it too much. He, he waited, let his teammates spot up, and then he just went to work. And Hawaii now with the uh, lead, 15-14. 14 minutes left first half. Here's Vincent, who's hot down the lane, lays it up and in. Gabe Vincent, they can't, they have no answer for him right now. Donnie's got nine points. And Valdez a three from right in front of the Gaucho bench. That's no good. Green, the weak side rebound for UCSB. You mentioned he didn't, they didn't have an answer for him in Hawaii either, right? Right, yeah. Five threes for Gabe. And he is feeling it right now. Smith on a hand check foul out on the left wing. And that'll give uh, That's a Mitch silly move uh, yeah. by Smith. You know, he reaches in there, hammers away, trying to get the ball loose. You know, Gabe's not going to score from out there. So it's just a waste of a foul. In fact, he now goes to the bench. That's what the coach felt about that particular foul. Yeah, and Stefan Jovanovic is in for Hawaii. Mitch Brewey in for the Gauchos, replacing Beeler. Here's a dangerous pass. Valdez saved it, and it comes to Thomas, to Valdez. Going in left side, hard layup attempt, and John Green commits the foul. But a turnover by the Gauchos, Don, way out on the right perimeter there. And an excellent play by Valdez to knock it away and then knock it back in bounds along the near sideline. So Valdez is <coughs> going to shoot two more free throws here. He's two for two. And TJ Taylor, who also played very well against uh, UC Irvine, the product from Oakland, is going to come in here. And there's a free throw that's good. 
the Childress who committed the turnover, Don, will go out. The Gauchos are still without assistant coach Kevin Bromley, who's battling pneumonia and getting past it, fortunately, Don. But that's a big loss for a coaching staff when you don't have one of your coaches. Valdez makes them both, and it's 16 to 15. He's probably feeling good enough to come back, and everyone's saying, no, stay up there and a royal grandy. We don't <laughs> want your germs. We don't want to get sick. Valdez is four for four from the line tonight. 16 to 15 Hawaii. I think I mentioned Hawaii was ahead by a point earlier. I was incorrect. It's now 16 to 15 Hawaii. Here's John Green handing it off to Taylor. Taylor gets around uh, the big man outside and then goes to John Green. Three right side. That uh, missed badly. Brewey has the weak side rebound. Then it's knocked out of bounds by Valdez. And now the referees are going to confer, I guess, and look at it. But it, it looked like Valdez was the last one to touch it. And that shot by John Don wasn't even close. He shot it too long. And it yeah, he's on the right side of the floor, and it hit the left side of the glass. Mm -hmm. Didn't hit any rim. Right. Yeah, I'd say he miscalculated. 16 to 15, Hawaii, 12.59 left first half. Officials are over here right now just trying to figure out the clock. They're at the There's monitor. Uh, they know whose basketball it is. They just, they don't, they want to make sure they're correct with the shot clock. Yeah, if, I guess that 29 shows right now. That would be correct on if the ball, if green shot ticked the rim. But then it's, you have to determine if there's a possession on the rebound. I thought Bowie maybe had it and then lost it. So that would constitute a possession. Well, they put it up at four seconds. Yeah. Hawaii also has Sheriff Drama in there for the first time tonight. Great first name, Sheriff. Here's the inbound to Bruy, banks it up and in. Mitch Bruy from the left side. Banked it up and in, and the Gauchos back in front, 17 to 16. Mitch has some interesting shots, he and they all come from quickness. Yep. Like he wants it, like it's on his, like the ball's on fire. Yeah, exactly. Gets rid of it quickly. Bob it to three from outside. No good. And the high rebound going up strong for it was Bryson. Gauchos have it front court. And now John Green along the left sideline has it. Behind the three-point line will dribble out. Now on top to Bryson. Bryson with Valdez in a hand in his face. And Bryson throws it away. He was throwing it to Gabe Vincent on the right wing. Vincent cut toward the baseline, Don, and the pass went to where Gabe was. So a turnover. And Bryson will come out. And in comes... Uh, Dewan Smith for the Gauchos, who lead it by one, 17 to 16, 12, 27 left here in the first half. UCSB and Hawaii. Valdez has it. And Whoop. here's a turnover by Hawaii. Bobbitt, kind of similar fashion to the Gaucho turnover from straight away, was throwing it out to the right wing area, trying to get drama, and he threw it into the crowd. Are you going to blame that on travel, air travel, coming from the island no, to the I'm mainland? Not blame that. Here is Dewan Smith on but top. But plays like that that get you a loss. Yeah, and Vincent bumped uh, right about the free throw line area, non-shooting foul, so the Gauchos will inbound. Now that Cubby's pronouncing his name Sharif. The uh, Sports information director for Hawaii is not here, so if I'm if I'm doing that incorrectly, then uh, here's another foul on Hawaii, and this is on, and it's on Sai Tumala, who's also checked in for Hawaii. That's his first personal. Five team fouls. And now TJ inbounding bounces it into Smith along the left side, gets it out to Vincent right perimeter. They come to Taylor. And now back to Vincent, three, straight away, back rim, no good, and the rebound to Dewan Smith. So the Gauchos will have another crack at it here. Smith now loses it, tried to bounce it to Bruy, stolen by Valdez. Here comes Hawaii the other direction. Looked like a travel over there by Jovanovic, but no call. And now here's Bobbitt between the circles. As Sharif Drame cut across the baseline, but no... Uh, no pass there. Bobbitt now picks up his dribble, gets it to Dremay between the circles. Now to Valdez, he'll launch up a long three from the left. That's no good. TJ tracks down the rebound on a bounce in the near corner. Brings it up the floor. Taylor gives it to Green. Gauchos by one, 17 to 16, 11, 18 left first half. Green dumps it down, low, good pass. Bruy lays it up and in. What a great pass that time, Don, by John Green, who threw it over the defender fronting Bruy. Well, Beeler. When he was in the game, was hurting Hawaii on offense, and now it's Mitch Brewey. 
Rui's got four points, and the Gaucho lead is 19 to 16, a whistle, and that is an offensive foul. And that is on Stefan Jovanovic away from the ball. That'll bring us to immediate timeout. So the Gauchos leading 19 to 16 here over Hawaii. This is uh, Gaucho basketball presented in part. On helium. <laughs> Got a lot of guts. Uh, literally, <laughs> that's the point. I mean, he is a little chubble over there. <laughs> so TJ brings the ball up the floor for the Gauchos who lead by three. Now to Smith out there. Dewan, not much of a scorer, but a good rebounder and defender. Goes to green, three on the left. Rims in and out. Rebound, Bryson went for it, and I think Hawaii's going to get whistled for the foul. Tamala picks up his second. That's team foul number six on the Rainbow Warriors. Actually, I uh, correct myself. That's team foul number seven. And Bryson is going to go to the free throw line here, Don, for a one and one And Michael, the leading scorer for the Gauchos, 19 points uh, per game, shoots 84% at the line overall and 91% from the line in the uh, in conference plays, 20 of 22. Well, he's yet to score tonight. And he still is yet to score, and he needs four points to turn into the top 10 uh, scorer here at UCSB. Top 10 all-time scoring list. Every time I say it, Don, when I mention the, sing the praises, uh, you know, the stats of the free throw shooting, they miss. Here's Valdez. Not just the Gauchos, but the other team, too. Now they get it uh, to the big guy. Jankovic back in there. Now he's out on the left wing is Jankovic to Bobbitt straight away. Thought about a three, goes to Jankovic. He'll fire a three from the left. That's off the back rim, no good. The long rebound comes to Bobbitt. Bobbitt gets past Dewan Smith, but he couldn't get past Bruy, and Bruy stole it. Here is TJ going in. TJ lays it off and a blocking foul, and Taylor will have a one and one. Referee pointed to out of bounds, but that should be a one and one. Now it is a one and one, he said. That foul's Sharif, going to uh, Dreme. <laughs> Kind of a, you know, I don't, I'm not sure what goes through players' heads. You got a sense when a guy is out of control. TJ was doing nothing with the basketball. Right. He's looking for help. Why you would foul him is beyond me. He misses the free throw. And that's his first free throw attempt of the season. The Hawaii gets the rebound, and then uh, up the floor, Bobbitt tried to whistle a pass inside that was deflected uh, at the top of the key by the Gauchos into Thunder Row along the far side. TJ's got something in his left eye. What he doesn't have is his contact. Or maybe that's it. Maybe it's a contact lens problem. Nice gesture by Bobbitt and Sharif Dreme to go over to make sure TJ was okay. Well, you had a contact lens problem a couple games ago, Don. That can be annoying for a while, can it? <laughs> yeah, it's annoying to be, you know, to have to, just to even have to wear them is annoying. <laughs> yeah, Bobbitt now to Valdez in the lane. He pulls up for a, like about a 12-footer, and he banked it in. <clears throat> but you take away, uh, you know, when you bank that shot in there, when you're in the key, you bank it because you don't have to have touch. Right. And that was by design. Uh, Maxwell, yep. cup check, getting ready to come back in. Gaucho lead is 1, 19 to 18, 930 left. Brewey baseline jumper on the right is no good. And the rebound. Inside pull down. Good rebound that time by Tamala. Here's Hawaii up the floor. Valdez goes back to Dreme. Dreme puts it on the floor with a left-hand dribble. And a reach foul by UCSB here. Team foul number four on the Gauchos. And that is going to be on... You know, people are yelling that he walked. He did walk, yeah, but he walked Green. way after the foul. Yeah, and that's unfortunate for the Gauchos, Don, because that's on John Green, and that's foul number two on Green. Green yeah. will stay in the game here with Kupchak also coming back. And Eric Childress is back for UCSB as well. So two fouls now on John Green. Valdez takes the inbound. Gauchos still have three fouls before they're at the limit of seven. Hawaii's got eight already. Here is uh, Jankovic down on the left baseline. Going against Beeler, who's back in. Jankovic goes right by him, puts it up, scores. He's fouled, it counts, and Beeler just picked up his second. <coughs> Who needs a left hand? You know, he did all that right-handed. Yeah. You know, a little baby hook shot. He went in. He was trying to cup it, I think, and dunk it. He couldn't quite get to that, but that was a pretty move. Boy, he's a... Very fluid player, isn't he? Very good player. Jankovic leads the team in scoring at 15 a game, and he shoots 75% from the line, and his free throw in and out. Rebound, Beeler. So Sam with two fouls, Green with two fouls, and Hawaii with a 20 to 19 lead, 8.59, and now Childress turns it over. Here's the turnover, and it's Nico. 
Filipovich, who's in the game, who stole it near midcourt, and it's uh, he missed the layup, and then the ball goes off of Filipovich. And well, he, didn't, out of he didn't steal it. At mid, at, uh, Eric dribbled Eric it off of his foot, and it kind of dribbled over to him. Turnover, but it's a turnover, but, yeah. but they did not capitalize on it. Okay, Vincent getting ready to come back for the Gauchos. He's hot with nine points. Been on the bench for a little bit, so we'll hope to get him warm in a hurry. Here's Childress at the right perimeter, bounces it to Green, right side of the paint, about 10 feet out. Green banging it into his man, goes underneath. Did he travel? Yep, he did. Good defense gone by Tumala. And Vincent will come in here for John Green. Yeah, John, sometimes he's a little guilty of hanging on to the basketball. You know, with cup check in there, the ball moves a little bit more with fluid through the offense. And yet, John's a great scorer. Yep. But he's got that scoring mentality, and he was trying to get his own shot there. Filipovich to Bobic between the circles. Hawaii leads by one. 8.20 left to go. Left corner they go to Filipovich, who's moving all over the floor. Back out on top to Bobic. Bobic gets a screen out there, and uh, that screen was set by Tumala. They go left side, almost threw it away. Bobbitt right in front of the Gaucho bench goes to the big fella in the corner. Yakovich now on top. Now to the right side they go. Valdez a three, and he missed it. He had to shoot it to beat the shot clock. He was knocked down. No call, and Childress the rebound for the Gauchos. Boy, Beeler was open going down the floor there. Don, and here's Childress off the dribble. His three is an air ball, and that's going to really upset Bob Williams. In, in case, if you weren't with us, there's a media timeout coming up, Don, but Childress, in Bob's estimation, numbers brought to you by Pacific Beverage. Talk about Hawaii having some advantage, I think, with the skill of the big men, and yet it's the Gauchos who lead in the paint. 12 points to two. That's Beeler and Brewey. There is... Filipovich from the left corner, that's missed. Thomas back in the game, got a hand on the rebound, and Hawaii gets the offensive board. Filipovich right perimeter to Valdez, skip pass to Bobbitt on the left side, now to the baseline, here's Thomas, left-handing one up, that misses badly, and a foul called here on UCSB, and that foul is on uh, Maxwell Kupchak. I actually thought that time that Jankovic was maybe more over the back, Don, but they got Kupchak from another angle there. So Maxwell picks up his first, team foul number six. 20 to 19, and that's team foul number seven on the Gauchos. Bryson holding Valdez before the ball is even inbounded. So Valdez will go to the line for a one-on-one. -one. Those are silly fouls. Yeah. What does that sign say over there behind the end zone? Not sports, but the other one. Make out, I'm bored. <laughs> that's what it says, Jerry. <laughs> Well, it's at an angle, Is right? that your new mantra? No. There's Valdez. He's good tonight at the free throw. Is that five for five for him down at the line tonight? Yes, it is, Jerry. Are you still bored? Stop that. 21 to 19. Hawaii with a two-point lead. 7.25 left first half. Second one on the way. Good. Not bad for Valdez. Not bad at all. He... Shoots 68%, but tonight he looks like he's a 90% free throw shooter. Well, he's the second leading scorer for this team, so uh, I think he, he's pretty confident offensively. And now the Gauchos. Here's Vincent going in for a drive. He made the basket. It won't count. Offensive foul as he runs over Mike Thomas, who was planted like a tree down below. He was there in plenty of time, Don, outside the halo and took the offensive charge. And Gabe will learn that, you, you know, if you go straight up there, you got to avoid the contact. You don't have to go around it. You just elevate above it. Right. And is there a difference between taking a four-foot shot and a two-foot shot? Not really. Here's Thomas at the free throw line. Hawaii leads by three, 22 to 19, 6.54 left here in the uh, first half. And Jakovic inside, underneath the basket, kicks it out to Valdez. Three on the way is good from the left wing. And excellent job by Stefan Jakovic done. He got underneath the basket, was guarded by Beeler, and just kicked the ball back out to the left perimeter, and Valdez dropped it in. Here is Childress going in for a layup, and he made the layup. He's fouled on the play. Eric Childress will have a free throw coming up. The Gauchos now to within four. Hawaii 25 to 21. Eric Childress looks over at Bob Williams. Take me out over that one, coach. <laughs> Here's Vincent and Beeler coming out. Dewan Smith and Mitch Brewey come back in. So Childress will shoot one here. Eric, this season at the line, 13 of 16, make it 14 of 17. 
As he makes it, the Gauchos down by three, 25-22, 6.30 left here in the first half. Valdez with it to Bobbitt between the circles. Now, Filipovich back to Bobbitt, open three, left side, back rim no good. Childress the rebound, and Bobbitt, had he followed that sooner, might have gotten it. Now to Dewan Smith. Dewan puts it up off the glass, not even close. Brewey got the rebound, put it up and scored. That was almost a pass to Brewey. It missed so badly, Don. It hit nothing but the backboard, and Brewey coming in from the weak side was able to catch it and just put it right back up and in. Gaucho's down by one, 25-24. Valdez kicks it in the right corner, and it's a turnover. As Nico Filipovic did what he could to keep it, wasn't really in the corner, it was along the, uh, the sideline over there, and he couldn't keep it in, so a turnover. Sharif Dreme comes back in for Filipovic for Hawaii. 25-24, Rainbow Warriors lead it by one, 5.50 left to go first half. Childress hands it off to Bryson. Now just have three starters out there right now. Now to Cupjack on the left side of the paint. Kicks it back between the circles to Childress who dribbles to the right side. Childress splits two defenders, looks for Cupjack. He had instead Dewan Smith cutting from the right and he threw it away trying to get to Cupjack on the left. And I wonder, Don, if he's looking and saying that's not a real scorer, a big scorer. Here's a steal by the Gauchos now. And Dewan Smith comes up with it. Smith going down the floor, lays it up and in. Great play by Dewan. 26-25. But a moment ago, Don, I'm just wondering if Childress may have changed his mind seeing that it wasn't a Bryson or a... Or he sensed that the defense was going that way. But uh, Smith made you eat your words there, Jerry, as he scored oh, no, I love versus Dewan. two Hawaii yeah, guys. Yeah, he just sprinted by both of them. And now a bad pass by Thomas, stolen by Brewery. I'm not sure who that pass was intended for because there was no one around it. Cup check leads a bounce pass inside for Bryson who missed the reverse layup. Terrific bounce pass by Cupcheck and the rebound Hawaii. Thomas is hammered by Childress the other direction. So that'll be a, a one and one for Thomas. Oh, I thought for a moment, I, I really thought that uh, Bryson was gonna slam that going on a reverse move, Don. Well, I think he, it maybe went through his mind, but I think it was Yankovic that was on him. Yeah, yeah they went straight up on him. So it was gonna be a difficult shot. You know, you, you love to hear you know, we tend to say, hey, you missed the layup. But it's not really a true layup if somebody's in your face, you know, right up there as high as you are defending. What do you think that guy would? Uh, now, what if that guy with the Speedo was holding that? I'm bored, make out with me. No, boy. No, that, no. that wouldn't catch your fancy either? No. Maxwell Kupchak comes out. Alex Hart into the game for the first time as Thomas makes both free throws and Hawaii now back up 27 to 26. So a seesaw first half, still 438 left to go here in the first half. Childress hands it off to Dewan Smith. Smith, top of the key to Hart. Hart dribbles to the right side, hands it off to Childress. Childress now spinning, picks up his dribble, top of the key, goes left perimeter to Smith, gets it to Brewey down on the left baseline, eight on the shot clock, Brewey spins, bounce pass is kicked out of bounds that time by Stefan Jankovic, and so the Gauchos will inbound with 15 seconds on the shot clock. Jankovic that time just looked like a goalie, didn't he, Don? Just kicked it with his foot. Yeah, that's that's when you're telegraphing your passes, I guess. Childress gets the inbound right back, and he scores a three-pointer from the left corner. Childress, now the other direction. Here is a layup attempt by Quincy Smith, who's back in the game. And a foul is called on the Gauchos, and Bob's not happy. That foul. Is, on Mitch Brewey. Is on Brewey. That's his first personal 10th team foul, but it almost looked like the bottom of the rim blocked the shot or committed the foul more than Brewey. Yeah, but Mitch put his hand up right away. Quincy Smith with two free throws. First one is short. This is not a good free, you know, no. for, the, for the season they shoot 67%, which is not great. Yes. Uh, but tonight, I mean, I think they they seem to be more around 500. Smith only shoots 38 and a half percent from the line, and he makes the second. So he's now 26 of 67 on to the free throw line. The Gaucho lead is one, 29 to 28, 405 remaining here in the first half. Hart at 610 will shoot the three. Now to Childress, they're looking to post up Bryson. They do. Bry Bryson 
Backing in Dremay from the right side. Bryson goes in with a hard dribble, and he is fouled by Dremay on the pass off. Doesn't matter, that's team foul number 10. Actually, it's Stefan Jankovic on the foul. Jankovic is pleading his case, but that's 10 team fouls and two free throws for Bryson either way. And a timeout, immediate timeout on the floor here. You know, we're used to, uh, coaches always wear suits, or normally wear suits there again to shoot two. And Bryson missed his only free throw attempt of the uh, game so far. Well, he hasn't scored yet, and we keep repeating it. He needs four, he needs three now as he makes the first free throw. Three points uh, to get into the top 10 all-time scoring category right. here at UCSB. Aaron Valdez comes back in for Sharif Drame. What a job Eric Ganat has done in his first season coaching uh, the University of Hawaii. And he's about as far away from home in this country as you can be, Don. He's from Tenafly, New Jersey. Is gonna, second free throw good. Bryson two points away from entering the top 10 all-time scoring list. And if you ask Michael, he'd tell you right now, more importantly, we got a three-point lead. 31-28, the Gauchos. Here's Thomas at the free throw line. Backs his triple up, looking for the bounce and the cutter with Smith that time, but Thomas did wisely to hold on to the ball. The pass wasn't there. Bob it straight away. And now they go down low to Thomas. Thomas, uh, kind of a baby hook fading away from eight feet in the lane, and he swished it. 31-30, Gauchos. And that pass was from big to big. Jankovic down low to another big. Thomas made a nice move that time. Did Childress just turn it over again? Nope, no, it got knocked, knocked out, out of bounds, bounds by Bobbitt right into the Hawaii bench. We haven't heard much from Bobbitt tonight. Just two points, one assist. <clears throat> he leads the league, I think, in assists and assists and steals. And he also averages overall this season 13 points a game. Here is Smith for the Gauchos to Hart. Hands it off, left perimeter to Childress. Back to Hart in the left corner. Hart dribbles baseline. I think he stepped on the, nope. Blocking foul. I think he did step on the line, but he got pushed to, yeah. to end up there. He'll get to go to the line to shoot two. Boy, and that's on Stefan Jankovic, and that's his second. So that's going to bring in another Stefan, Stefan Jovanovic. Not the same. Pretty similar names, not the same players. Not the same players. Pretty similar in height. In fact, they are. They're both 6'11". So here's Hart to shoot two free throws for UCSB. And Alex first is off the back rim, no good. Alex now two for six at the line this season. That's just his sixth attempt. And the poor free throw shooting by both teams continues. Yeah, but he, he is such a good shooter. There's no reason yeah. not to be seven in the, at least in the 70s. Yeah. And Hart's he second, and boy, he bricked it. I mean, that was a shot put. Yeah, and the rebound comes down to Jovanovic for Hawaii. The Gauchos lead it by one, 31 to 30, 252 left. First half, a lot for both coaches to talk about at halftime, I would think, Don. Here's Valdez, left elbow, backs his dribble up, goes right side on the perimeter to Smith. Now to Valdez with 10 on the shot clock. To Thomas along the right sideline, between the circles, Bobbitt. They get it inside to Jovanovic, his baby hook up over Bruy is good, and Jovanovic got about as friendly a bounce as you're ever gonna see. That thing looked like it was gonna miss in every which way, Don, and it uh, bounced, bounced in, 32-31. Hawaii back in front, 2.20 left first half. Childress, a little hesitation move, goes left corner to Hart. Hart now spins the ball around uh, his shoulder area. Gets it to Bruy on top, Bruy gets it back to Bryson. Bryson goes in, missed the layup. Rebound, knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Gauchos. Wow. That was so close, Dom, that he probably could have dunked it and should have dunked it. But Bryson. I honestly thought, Don, he had, he had both hands around the ball and on top of the ball. I thought he was going to go up and just throw it down. And it's a delay down here at the Hawaii end. Somebody hurt? Valdez is going out. And Sharif Drame comes back in. Didn't see what happened to Valdez there. So Bobbitt. The ball up the floor. Hawaii by one, less than two minutes to go. Minute 57 to go. Smith on the left side. Back to Bobbitt. Bobbitt now kicks it left corner to Thomas. They get it down low to Jovanovic. To Thomas, lays it up and in. Great slashing move by Mike Thomas along the left baseline. And no gaucho defense there, Don. 
Well, Bryson, I think, got beat on, got beat on the play. He certainly wasn't there. You're right. 34-31, Hawaii by three. Rainbow Warriors are good. Here's Bryson on top. Gets a screen from Hart, and uh, bouncing out to help on the defense here was Thomas. Now they get it back to Hart. Hart should have been called for a foul. He lost the ball, and the other direction, it's Smith going up to dunk it, and Bob wants a timeout. And it's 36-31, Hawaii. So Hart, who kind of extended his left arm, Don, into the chest of the defender at the top. A couple players have fallen asleep out there. And this Hawaii team will make you pay for it. You yeah. know, this you're not playing, uh, you know, the, the underdog, the dog of the season. You're not playing Fullerton. Or you're oh. not playing a, you know, the ninth place team. This is Hawaii. Childress and Taylor are in there for the first time together tonight. Cup check back in for the Gauchos. UCSB has the ball. Here's Maxwell with 10 on the shot clock. Top of the key with a dribble to Childress. Childress looks up at the shot clock. Childress backs his dribble up. Three seconds on the shot clock. Bounce pass to... Smith, and it goes out of bounds. A turnover by Eric Childress. Eric, he had about two seconds on the shot clock. Even if Smith caught that as he was slashing or fla uh, flashing along the left baseline, Don, I'm not sure that Dewan would have even gotten a shot off. Eric should have shot that. Here's Smith going in from the right, kicks it back to Thomas, gets it to Bobic. Now to Smith on the left perimeter. Jovanovic wants it down low, and now instead they kick it out to Drame. Down left corner to Smith. Jovanovic again wants it against uh, B, uh, Brewy. Instead, Smith drives, kicks it right side. Three is no good by Thomas in the rebound. T.J. Taylor for the Gauchos. 16 seconds to go. So Bob calling for one shot here. T.J.'s got it. Now 10 seconds. Jovanovic way out. The big man. Now they go Smith down low. Brewy leaves it for Kupchak. Lays it up and in. Terrific pass by Mitch Brewy and Kupchak with a basket. Here is a Drame, a long 70-foot shot. Just grazed the right side of the backboard. And that's it. So excellent last. Valdez, Aaron, who left the game late in the uh, first half, looked like he got hit or something, had to leave the game. But he's back in there to start the second half. Stefan Jankovic in there as well. And so is and Quincy, Quincy Smith. Smith. Why he has the ball to start the second half. Jankovic has it underneath, goes to Smith. Right side, Valdez, three on the way, no good. Rebound, Vincent battling for it, and Gabe takes it away from Thomas. Good job by Vincent. Streaks it up the right sideline into the front court, crossover dribble, goes to Kupchak, left baseline. Thomas came out on him, now to Vincent. Vincent loses the ball, but it deflects out to the right perimeter to Bryson, back to Vincent. Vincent fakes his man out, puts up the shot, off the glass from the right side, no good. Rebound comes down to Valdez as Vincent dove for that one and did not get it. Valdez up into the front court for Hawaii. Smith, now Bobic on top, Bobic to the right elbow, and this is Jankovic. He'll turn, fire a jumper, that one's no good. The ball tipped to Vincent. And Jankovic missed the shot, and Mike Thomas hit the deck hard that time. He jumped up quick, though, didn't he? Yeah. Usually players hit the floor and they linger. Yeah. He was up and at him. Beeler has it on top, gives it to Vincent, and Vincent buries the three to tie the game. Nothing really tricky or difficult about that, Don. That was just a handoff from Beeler, and now Bob at a three straight away. That's way off the mark, and Yankovic uh, bats the ball, but Yankovic hit it off of one of his, his own players and out of bounds, so Gaucho basketball, and they'll bring it the length of the floor, but on that last one, Beeler just handed the ball to Vincent, Vincent went behind him and shot it. Well, use him as a nice screen, you know, a little 6'11 thin screen, but hard to get around defensively. Childress now loses the ball as it was poked away from behind by Bobbitt, and on the turnover, here comes Hawaii, Bobbitt goes in from the right side, Bobbitt swings the pass, left corner, Valdez three on the way, no good, and Bryson just fouled him. That'll be three free throws coming up, and for Bryson, that is his second foul, but Don, that's three free throws for Valdez, and it just, from one end of the court to the other, just a miserable uh, transition for the Gauchos after the Childress turnover, and that's four on Eric. Uh, Bryson was late getting out to Valdez in the left corner and fouled him. Yeah, ten, ten turnovers for, for UCSB. Bob Williams is an ex-point um, guard, you know, really emphasizes not turning the basketball over, as he should, and turnovers like that really eat at him. Valdez came into the game 68% from the line, but he made the first. He's 7 for 7. Make it 8 for 8. 
and Valdez adding to his point total, Don. He's now got 13, and Hawaii back up by two, 38-36, 18-18 left in the second half. And Valdez knocks all three down. He's nine for nine from the line. And Hawaii back up by three, 39-36. As well as Childress has played over the last month and a half, or maybe even longer than that, Don, he's just got to settle down right now. Here's the pass inside to Beeler. Beeler, a lot of contact, had it uh, blocked that time by Yankovic, and it's taken down by Yankovic. No foul call, Bobbitt leaves it for Yankovic. Long, three straight away, no good. And Cup check the rebound. I'm not sure that's the shot you want if you're Hawaii. Early in the shot clock, here is Bryson, down the lane, draws contact, puts up the shot, no good. But he's fouled on the play, Yankovic on the foul, that's his third. Two free throws coming up for uh, Michael Bryson, but Yankovic now has three fouls done. And here comes Jovanovic back in. So Bryson, who has yet to make a field goal, has two points in the game, both at the free throw line. And makes the first, 39-37. So Jankovic comes out for Jovanovic. So with, if he makes this free throw, he's the 10th leading scorer of all time at UCSB. Yep. He needs four points, and he has struggled to get the four tonight. And there it is. He made it. Congratulations to Michael Bryson. 39-38. Hawaii leads by one. Great career, hasn't he done? Oh, he's a great player. Yeah. Here's Thomas on the right elbow. One bounce dribble. Gets it out to Smith. Smith down on the right block to Jovanovic. And I think he dribbled on the baseline. Did he? Yeah, he did. So, Stefan Jovanovic try, trying to little you know, make a little drop step When he step does something move. good, he does a little salute. When yeah. he does something good. But he just he just goofed up and there was no salute. He didn't do it I mean, don't, don't, don't you have to have some kind of a mannerism yeah, there's a with an error? There's turnover by the Gauchos. Cup checks pass was almost stolen. You would think so. You mean one for each? Yeah, a good, a good one when you do a good play and when you do a bad play. Cup check three straight away. No good. Rebound Smith on the strong side. 39-38. Boy, this game has really slowed, hasn't it? 17.05 left to go. Here's Smith driving in from the right side. Puts it up. No good. Good defense by Beeler, Don. He didn't give away his... Uh, his position down there, just raised his arms and made it hard for Smith to shoot. He missed it badly. The Gauchos get the rebound. And he was begging for a foul. Childress on the left wing, on top to Vincent. Vincent drives in. Vincent, right side of the paint, puts up an off-balance shot, needs a roll, didn't get it. Thomas the rebound with ease for Hawaii. When he came off the pick, uh, Childress didn't give him a good pass. There's a drive and a Oops. layup. Beautiful layup by Smith. You know, with a better pass, I think he shoots with in rhythm. So 41-38, Hawaii leads by three. 16-20 left to go. Here's Beeler handing it off to Vincent for the tie. Straight away, back rim, no good. Rebound, Quincy Smith at the free throw line. That was a long rebound. Valdez the other way. Hawaii leads by three. Smith now inside to Thomas. Thomas fouled. If that's on Beeler, it's his third. If it's on Cupcheck, it's his second. It's on Maxwell. So Cupcheck picks up foul number two. That's the way you want it for the Gauchos. Here comes John Green back in for Cupcheck. TJ Taylor yeah. will be checking in for Eric Childress in a moment. 41-38. As Mike Thomas, two free throws, 16.05 left here in the uh, second half, and he makes the first. Cupcheck has uh, not gotten off to a, a good start in this one, Don. We've usually uh, seen more at uh, both ends of the floor for Maxwell, but he has struggled tonight, along with many of his other teammates. Well, at halftime, his stats were two for two, four points, uh, one assist, no boards. Makes the second, 43-38. Not that he's playing poorly, I just, he, he's, he's, we're usually mentioning his name more because he has been such a, a wonderful addition as a freshman to the Gauchos this season. Here's the pass into Beeler, reverse layup, good. Going left to right, nice pass by Bryson from straight away. 43-40, Hawaii's lead is three. 15-45 left, here's Thomas. Bad pass, knocked away by Bryson, stolen by Vincent. Vincent up the left sideline. Vincent going one on three, lays it up. No good, followed by Green. John couldn't get it. Br Beeler ties up Thomas. And are they calling a foul on Beeler? That should have been a tie-up. No, it's a foul on Beeler. 
bring us to immediate timeout. Bob wanted the, the tie up there done, the held ball. Ryan Madry, one of his assistant coaches. 16%, uh, who's gonna get it going first? Yeah, well, the Gaucho's trailed by three at halftime, Don, and for four minutes and 30 seconds, basically, Hawaii not shooting well, as you mentioned, and the Gaucho's still trailed by three. So they have not been able to take advantage of Hawaii's poor second half start offensively. Yeah, yeah. the Gauchos don't, you know, they're shooting two of eight, 25% in the second half, so they're not on fire either. Here's a near turnover by Hawaii in the front court, but the ball deflects to Valdez. Valdez from the left side to Smith. Smith leads it for Thomas, and Thomas scores underneath. Great pass by Quincy Smith. It really started on the left side by Valdez, Don. That was a near turnover as the ball was deflected out to him along the left sideline, and Valdez got it to Smith, who was cutting to the free throw line, and Smith got it down inside and just shoveled the pass off to Thomas, who scored it, and was fouled on the play, but he missed the free throw. John Green had the rebound, and Quincy Smith came from behind and stole it. 45-40, Hawaii. Gauchos look very, very flat right now. Not well, the yeah, Hawaii looks a little bit flat, too. Here is Smith. Gets a screen. Well, not much of a screen from Valdez. Then he kicks it back to Valdez. Three on the way. It's offline. You can tell from that where we were. That shot was flat. Yeah, that shot was flat. It hits the rim on the right side and kicks out of bounds. So the Gauchos will inbound in the right corner just beyond the Hawaii bench. But just, you know, look at Hawaii coming back on defense right now. They're all just very casual. T.J. Taylor, and they're running the point for the Gauchos to Vincent. Vincent now on top to Brewey. Right side, they go to Taylor. Taylor looking inside, dumps the ball to Green on the right baseline. John going against Thomas. John in the lane, kicks it back to Taylor. Taylor, bad pass inside, tried to get it to Brewey. It was knocked away by Ivanovich and stolen by Valdez. To Bobbitt. Bobbitt, right side, almost lost the dribble, but got it back. Bobbitt is not shot the ball all that much tonight. He can score. He's, in fact, he can score big time. But he's been great at just distributing the ball around the floor. Here's Valdez. Three out of the left corner. Rims in and out. Rebound is tipped out of bounds by John Green. John mistimed his jump that time, Don. Now, I know that he's trying to box out at the same time, so it's easy for me to say he mistimed his jump. I know uh, that it's easier said than done, but that's why John did not corral the rebound and why it went out. The inbound to Smith. 45-40 Hawaii, 13.56 left to go here in the second half. It's like half. a practice game. Yeah. Look at Hawaii. I mean, this is like a practice. Jovanovic sets a screen for Bobbitt, who goes left side of Valdez. Valdez goes in the paint, turns, spins, puts it up, off the glass, and scores. Valdez was going to his right, spun all the way around, back to his left on, and banked it in. And Bob is really upset at his team. Well, he's saying to get through the offense, you know, don't just, don't catch it and shoot, you know, act, get through all the options. Here's Green going in hard from the right side, put it up and scored off the glass, a lot of contact, but no foul called. The Gauchos will take the basket, 47-42 Hawaii, 13-16 left to go here in the second half. Here's Valdez on top, Valdez puts up a shot off the glass, no good. The ball is loose and it comes to Taylor, two on one with Vincent. Taylor goes in, lays it up with the left hand, no good. Brewey followed, couldn't get it, Valdez the rebound. Valdez the other way, kicks it to Bobbitt. Bobbitt's pass intercepted by Green underneath. Not even close to Quincy Smith. Vincent, pull up three, got it from the left side. Boy, time out, Hawaii. That, that is about as sloppy on both ends of the floor as you're gonna see. And Brewey is hurting, Don. Figure it out. <laughs> They're a little flat tonight as well, huh? Maybe they had to travel section of the schedule. It's coming up. It's coming up. Well, Don's got his, I mean, Don, I beg your pardon, Don. Bob's got his two point guards in again, Childress and Taylor. So he's going to see, uh, they're going to be the point of the uh, zone defense out there. Hawaii has the ball in the front court. Smith now to Thomas. Thomas goes into the paint, draws the foul. That's the third on John. And Thomas will shoot two. Thomas just came out near the free throw line, Don. He's been posting up high for a lot in this game, and he, he looks for to pass, and if there's no one there, he's very quick, isn't he? Yeah, he takes a step towards the rim into the paint, brings the zone his way, makes the first free throw. Neither team, well, they're what, 15 of 19 now, so that's good. Yeah. Uh, the Gaucho's just five of 11 at the line, 45%. Yeah. Missed and that one. Boy, he almost threw up an air ball, just ticked the rim. Beeler is back in the game, Brewie's out. 
And that's gonna hurt UCSB if Bruey's got something wrong with his ankle, Don, and can't come back. See more of Alex Hart, obviously. 48-45, here's Beeler on top, left side to Taylor. Taylor to Green between the circles. Beeler and Green in there with foul trouble. Here is Bryson now on a hard drive down the lane, lays it up with the left hand and scores it off the glass. Is that Bryson's first field goal of the night? I think it is. Yeah, it comes with 12.05 left to go in the game. 48-47, Hawaii by one. He's now one for four from the field. And that's six points. Here's Thomas again, high post at the right elbow. Backs it out to Smith in front of his own bench. Now to Bobbitt on top to Valdez. Back to Bobbitt on the right. In the right corner they go to Smith. He had the open three. Instead drives in. His bounce pass is kicked to, to Thomas. No call on the uh, far side. Now to Bobbitt. Bobbitt penetrates, kicks it. And Smith, a three. Left side is good. Right in front of Thunder Row. And again, there was some great offensive execution. Good ball movement by Hawaii there, Don. Well, Bobbitt's an assist man. He oh, does score terrific. 13 tonight, but that was a great, you know, he drives with the intent to kick it to the corner. He's a terrific point guard. 51-47, 11-19 left here in the second half. Bryson's gotta get hot. Somebody's gotta get hot. Bryson to Childress on the left and now a foul inside and that's gonna be on Jovanovic pushing Beeler. I would think at some point you see Yankovic again, don't you? The yeah. leading scorer for the season. He's got three fouls. But you gotta, I know he's yeah. three fouls, but he got 11 minutes no, in I agree this with game. You is what I'm saying. We're yeah. going to hold him until two minutes. Coach Andrew Chekets have made it to two regionals in his four seasons. And uh, Don, you've got some new numbers here. So February 19th, hope to see you at Caesar Wasaka Stadium as Sai Tamala commits a foul before the inbound for Hawaii. Now Childress gets it back off the inbound. Three, no good. And the rebound. Valdez actually knocked it to Bryson, and Michael puts it up and in. The Gauchos trail by two. Well, he got bumped by his own man, Jovanovic. Bumped him and made him lose control. So Stefan Jovanovic still in the game. Stefan Yankovic is not in the game. Here's Tamala. Three. Right side is good. Right in front of the Hawaii bench. And that gets the Rainbow Warriors up. That was deep. Yeah. That had some distance to it. But that bench exploded after he made that. 54-49, the Gauchos still trail by five. 10.36 left to go. Vincent, now, with, and here's a foul on Jovanovic I mean outside. I guess that's a foul, that's but is it real? I mean, no. <laughs> yeah. Jovanovic barely touched Vincent, who was dribbling around the perimeter left to right, and Jovanovic picks up his third, so here comes Jankovic back in, but I think all Jovanovic did was breathe on him there. Well, he's trying to hedge, you know, and yeah. then... A lot of times what the player does is he, he forms a double pick and then the, your teammate can't get through. There's a steal. Vincent turned it over, Bobbitt the other way. Bobbitt goes in hard and the shot is blocked out of bounds by Bryson. The layup was blocked out of bounds, but terrific effort by Eric Childress defending as well on the play, Don. That and terrible decision making by Bobbitt. That's yeah, probably that's the, worst, the, the only bad decision he's made all night. It's a two on one there. You have to get a shot opportunity. And he did kind of float in and a great, great defense, you're right, by Childress and Bryson. Smith drives in, lays it up, no good. Rebound inside, easy. Put back by Jankovic. And it's a seven point Hawaii lead. This match is the biggest lead of the night for Hawaii. 56 49, 957 left to go. The Gauchos just look absolutely stagnant offensively right now, Don. They've got to get somebody going like Vincent the beginning of the game. Here's Bryson between Look the it. circles. Thought he was fouled. Gets it to Vincent. Three. Right side. No good. That barely grazed the rim on the far side. Bob at the rebound. Bob Williams not happy. You know, Russell Tur Turner the other night, coach for Irvine, was out on the floor. This guy is on the floor a lot. Oh, coach cannot. Yeah. Here's Bobbitt between the circles. Now to the left elbow and a turnaround jumper from the free throw line by the uh, big fella. Yankovic is no good and it's out of bounds off of Yankovic. He followed his own shot, and Pankovic goes flying over the cheerleaders. Fortunately, everybody's okay down there. <laughs> the Hawaii players were looking after Stefan Yankovic there, Don. Nobody on the Hawaii bench was looking to see if the cheerleaders were okay. That's a big man coming down on you. Yeah, but he avoided them. They didn't, there was no contact. He ended up behind them. Vince at three. All right, check that. Bryce at three, right corner, no good. Beeler tried to tip the rebound and keep it alive, but it comes down to Yankovic as well, Brewey getting ready to come back in. Believe me, the bench would love to go over and talk to the cheerleaders versus <laughs> Yankovic. 
Here is Kamala. Now they get it to Valdez. His pass knocked away by Vincent and stolen by Childress. Childress the other way. Childress kicks it back. Childress leaves it for Beeler. Smart move by Sam that time to back it up, Don. And now to John Green, who's back in the game. Green is tripped, and that's team foul number seven. No, what am I talking about? Team foul number five. I don't know why my uh, error there. Tamala committed the foul. Tamala's really arguing with the official like he thought John Green tripped more of himself. Maxwell Kupchak coming back in with Mitch Brewey. Beeler goes out. Green comes out. And uh, Mike Thomas, who's hurt the Gauchos tonight, comes back in. Not so much with his scoring, but just with his high post presence and good passing ability. Been to the free throw line quite a bit as Thomas. Childress inbounds, right side to Bryson. Gauchos trail by seven, 56-49. 8.36 left to go here in the second half. Kupchak hands it off on top is Childress. Back to Kupchak on the left wing. Now he goes deeper on the left wing to Bryson. His three is good right in front of the Gaucho bench. Boy, that was a quick, quick trigger by Michael Bryson, wasn't it, Don? Yeah, he lets it go quick. Good, quick release. He had a man in his face, too. Valdez on top to Bobbitt. Gauchos back to within four. It's been kind of like this the whole second half where the Gauchos fall behind by six or seven and make a little bit of a run and Hawaii gets something back. Here is Yankovic now dribbling out of the left corner to Valdez on top. Three is online, but it's off the back rim. Good rebound by Kupchak. Gives it up to Childress. Maxwell went high in the air for that one. Pulled it down with authority. Childress now to Kupchak. Kupchak goes in, lays it up and in. Kupchak kind of was hesitant, Don, because he almost stopped at the right elbow. And Childress got him the ball anyway, and Maxwell with one hard right-hand dribble went up and laid it in. And then a little hesitation once he caught it, too, and saw that he was open, and then he exploded to the rim. 56-54, the Gauchos back to within two on a 5-0 run, and the crowd into it now, 7.25 left. Yankovic on top, goes to Valdez, right baseline, goes in hard, lays it up and in. Boy, good strong move by Aaron Valdez. Along the right baseline, and Brewey stood his ground. Good thing Mitch didn't reach, or else that might have been a three-point play opportunity. There's Childress kicking it out, back out to Vincent. Vincent, pull-up jumper, left side. Two-point shot is no good, and a hard, strong rebound by Thomas, and Brewey reached in and fouled him. 16 fouls on UCSB. And Bob is saying to Mitch at the other end, draw the charge. He's their 25 points. So Don Jerry, is, did you do the game or something? Did you... Uh no, I wrote it up, press, I, I wrote it up for saying. the news press a little bit. Yeah, but 58-54, uh, Don, you got some news. Chose 28 boards, Hawaii 29. Turnovers, Gauchos 13, that hurts. Yep, here's Smith handing it off on the right side to uh, Sharif Drame, who's back in the game. Now to Bobbitt. Bobbitt drives uh, in from down Whoa. the lane. The shot blocked from behind by Bryson on the rebound that time. Bobbitt missed the layup badly, and Bryson got his third block of the game. I couldn't see, Don, if it was, I think it was... Uh, Sharif Drame got the rebound, put it up, and Bryson swatted it against the glass, and the Gauchos have the ball. Here's Kupchak on the left side. Goes in for a floater, puts it up, no good. Rebound comes down to Yankovic. I like that shot, Don. He went in from the left, put up the... Uh, it was a shot from about five, six feet. Didn't make it, but I think it's a good percentage shot. Yeah, it's a great move. Nothing wrong with that shot. 58-54, Gauchos trail by four. Six minutes left to go. Bob it to Thomas, now right side they go to Smith. Smith thought about the three, goes right by Bryson, lays it up and in, wow. From the right perimeter, he just, not much of a fake either, Don, six point <laughs> Hawaii lead. But Bryson bit hook, line, and sinker on that fake. Here is Brewey now, Brewey goes left baseline, cut off, dragged his foot, they didn't call it, skip pass. Right corner three by Bryson, no good. And the rebound on the strong side, pulled down by Bobbitt. Bobbitt's just gonna walk the ball up the floor here. And John Green coming back into the game for UCSB along with Sam Beeler. Time will yeah, be coming a factor for the Gauchos. 5.24 left. They're down by six. Drame on top to Thomas. Whistle away from the ball. Offensive foul called on Bobbitt as Mitch Brewey hit the deck that time. And that was left of the left elbow, Don. Free throw line extended to the left. I, I don't know if I couldn't really see because I was blocked out by a couple of players, but I, I don't know if Bobbitt. I don't know, Bobbitt kind of gave him a forearm shiver. You got to do something to knock Mitch to the ground at six foot nine. And uh, yeah, I think Mitch <laughs> goes to the ground quite often, drawing attention to the fact that there was contact on the play. Yeah. He definitely got bumped or hit. 
but not enough to so end up on the ground. I mean, 242 that's, pounds. <laughs> that's him bringing attention to the official. Well, he, he won it that time. Got it. It's a good acting job. Here's the handoff by uh, Beeler to uh, Bryson. Back to Beeler down low. Beeler kicks it out left side to Vincent. Vincent, step back. Nope, it's a two-pointer for the left. No good. And Thomas, the, hard, the strong rebound for Hawaii. 453 left to go. They don't Got mess around when they go up and rebound, do they? No, they don't. Bryson put a move on, check that, Vincent put a move on on the left side down and tried to step back beyond the three-point line but was on the line. And here's Bobbitt now, Bobbitt on top to Thomas, to Smith, the left side, down low to Yankovic, and inside, uh, the Gauchos wanted a three-second violation, and Beeler just picked up his fourth foul as Stefan Yankovic was in the paint there and received the pass, 17 fouls, so Yankovic will shoot two and Stefan, a good free throw shooter that coming into the game, Don, 75% this season. Well, I don't know, is he shooting two or is it a one-on-one? One-on-one. -on -one? One -on -one. Did somebody, did Cubby say two? You did. Oh, I did, I beg your pardon, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what confused me <laughs> because yep, yep, I right. didn't think, I don't think he, he was getting ready to shoot. I don't think he actually was in the motion. M it makes the first, boy, that almost fell, it fell out. Popped, popped up above the cylinder and went back down in. 61-54, Hawaii equals its biggest lead of seven points, and now I, I get nervous, Don. 4.35 left to go. This Hawaii team is very good at closing out games. And the second free throw, swish. Valdez comes back in. Well, you can always rest on, your, on the Laurel or on the fact that they had to travel to get here. Oh, stop it. Sharif Drame goes out. Biggest Hawaii lead of eight points. Still time, but now Bob Williams is telling T.J. Taylor to move it. Here's Vincent on top. Gabe steps back between the circles with it. Now to the right side. TJ3 on the way. Line drive, no good. Beeler up over the back, no call. Ball out of bounds. Off of Hawaii. Good job by Beeler to keep it alive, and then the Rainbow Warriors knocked it out. But at this point, Don, you roll, you roll the dice with four fouls of Beeler. And Beeler was over the back of Jovanovic inside, or Yankovic inside, I beg your pardon. But no call. TJ to inbound. Gets it out to Bryson. Michael gave up the three. Spins at the free throw line. Draws a double team. Now kicks it right corner to Green. He'll launch a three. And that's off the back rim. No good. Rebound with authority. Quincy Smith. I think Bryson made a mistake there, Don. He's got to shoot that three. He was open straight away. Well, I think away. he sensed the defense maybe coming out, getting ready to try and block the shot or bother. He thought maybe he could get under him. But defense closed out and recovered. Gaucho's trail by eight. 3.50 left to go. Valdez on top to Thomas. To Smith on the right side. Down low to Jankovic. Jankovic turns, fires over Beeler and scores from 10 feet. Well, that's 6'11", shooting over 6'10", and the Gauchos now down by 10. 65-54, 3.30 left to go. And this is a big drought the Gauchos are in. Here's a holding foul on Jankovic, and that is team foul number seven on Hawaii. He that's, held Beeler. That's his fourth. That's his fourth. And that's going to send Sam to the line, Don, after the media timeout. And Valdez on top to Thomas. To Smith on the right side. Down low to Jankovic. Jankovic turns, fires over Beeler and scores from 10 feet. Well, that's 6'11", shooting over 6'10", and the Gauchos now down by 10. 65-54, 3.30 left to go. And this is a big drought the Gauchos are in. Here's a holding foul on... Jankovic, and that is team foul number seven on Hawaii. He that's, held Beeler. That's his fourth. That's his fourth. And that's going to send Sam to the line, Don, after the media timeout. Bryson leads the way, 15 points for the Gauchos. Michael Bryson with 11. He's 3 of 8. Vincent, 6 of 15. A lot of scores over with Hawaii. Oh, Beeler. Sam Beeler makes a free throw. That is big time news. Valdez has 18. Yankovic, 14. Thomas, 11, and Quincy Smith, 13. See if Sam can't sink another one. That's big, Don. You're down by nine. Second one. Good. Got oh, the bounce. I think he's made four in a row now going back to the Irvine game. So the Gauchos, a little token backcourt pressure. They need some stops here. And this is where a guy, I think, oh, no, here's a near steal by Childress. Almost picked it because he's so good at quarterbacking the offense. Well, they're calm. Look at it. Three on the right is no good. And the offensive rebound on the weak side. By, here's the shot by Bob, and he banked it in. And the referees are going to look at it, I think. Yep. I'm not sure that that hit the rim. I thought it grazed the far side of the rim, the Smith three-pointer from the right. 
And then Valdez got the offensive rebound underneath and kicked it out to Bobbitt, who caught it and shot it from straight away. Yeah, I don't think it hit motion. the. I don't think it hit the rim. The question to me is, did he get it off in did time? Did he get it off in time? Well, even if it did hit the rim, Don, it's a moot point because he made the shot. So, it's the only thing the Gauchos can hope for is that he did not get it off in time. But it's hard. For us to tell, obviously, we well, see if it hit the rim, the they never reset it. So right, right. The, the, the only question is, did he shoot it in time? You have to look at the Gauchos. They've got to get that rebound. I mean, there's no excuse for not getting that uh, that defensive board. And Valdez, you give him as much credit as anybody else for Hawaii. Here are the Gauchos front court. Vincent will launch a long three from the right. Back rim, no good. Rebound, Valdez. Childress went up high for that one. Childress in the back court bothering Valdez, and now Childress fouls Valdez. And this one's starting to get away in a hurry for the Gauchos. 2.40 left, 11-point Hawaii lead, 67-56. Bob Williams has said repeatedly this year, Don, that he thinks Hawaii is, I mean, it's tough to distinguish Hawaii and Irvine, but why the, you get the impression that he thinks Hawaii might be the better of the well, team. I think they're a better, ba they have better yeah. basketball players. Now, Luke Nelson's really a good basketball yes, player. Is. Young, their point guard, a great. But you got a seven foot four, seven foot six center who's a specimen out there, but he's not necessarily a great basketball player. Yep. Valdez, where these guys come at you. Valdez missed the free throw. The Gauchos got the rebound. UCSB down by 11. They have really got to move. Here's Childress now with uh, the big fella out there. Oops. Childress's pass is a turnover. He threw it down low to Beeler. It went off Sam's right hand, grazed the backboard, and went out of bounds underneath. Well, he really. You know, the intent is perfect. That's a great yeah. intent by Eric. They just couldn't get it to, they couldn't complete the pass. That's 14 turnovers by UCSB in the back court. The Gauchos need to foul, and they do. That's nine fouls on UCSB, so a one-on-one -on -one for Hawaii the other direction. And Jovanovic comes back in for Yankovic. Well, he comes in for defense. Yeah, and what they're doing, Don, with the big guy, with uh, Jovanovic, is when the Gauchos have the ball out on the perimeter, they're floating him out because UCSB needs three pointers at some point, and that's 6'11 to have to shoot over. Quincy Smith, the one one got it. Made the first, 68-56. Two eighteen left to go here in the second half. Gauchos down by their biggest deficit of 12 points. Now, does Hawaii go up to Cal Poly, or who do they play next? Any yeah. idea? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Second free throw, no good. Vincent uh, grabs the rebound. Gaucho's moving up the floor. Here is Bryson. Bryson hands it off to Taylor. And there's the big guy out on the post, or out on the uh, perimeter. Now, Bryson a three. Good. Bob wants timeout. So, Bryson gets the Gauchos to within nine, 68 59 with 2.04 left to go. I you know, Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, you knew that they had it in them, Don, to come out. You also knew the Gauchos had it. Well, they to come out and play they seem to have another gear. Yeah. yeah I mean, they were, they actually were coasting a little bit, seemed like. And now they've kicked it up a notch. So they inbound to Bobbitt, and Bobbitt back to Thomas. Now to Valdez. Two on one the other way. Valdez leaves it for Yankovic. And Yankovic scores going in from the right baseline. So you break the press, and Yankovic makes the layup off the nice pass. Uh, by Valdez that time. Boy, that's just great execution by Hawaii. Here's Taylor, a three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Smith, and he's fouled by Vincent. That's team foul number, well, it's over the limit of 10. I think that's the 11th team foul, but 70 to 59. You know, both teams have done a nice job on the boards, but yeah. especially Hawaii, they're not allowing any offensive second chances for UCSB on the boards. Yep. I mean, they go up strong per person. It's not no, an individual. I mean, Quincy Smith is, uh, he's a 6'1 guard. 6'1 <coughs> guard, Don. He got up, looked like a big man on that rebound. And Smith, a good free throw shooter, missed the first. Should I say it again here before he shoots the second? Back in is Stefan Jovanovic. My guess is, like many things, Jerry, we think it's important and there's a correlation. There isn't with you saying something and <laughs> no, something not. occurring out on the floor. But he did miss it. <laughs> missed them both. Rebound Gauchos, minute 38 left to go. Bryson, front court. 
got to shoot, but now he does. Fires a high arcing three, back rim no good. Rebound on the weak side, Bobbitt. And Bobbitt now is fouled by Bryson. And <laughs> Bryson hits the deck hard going into Thunder Row. Now you know Bryson's a pretty big guy, right? Yeah. He hit Bobbitt and bounced off of him and ended Bobbitt's on the solid. floor. Yep. Bobbitt didn't flinch. Right. And That's a big point guard, That's big, strong point guard. Yep. Solid, solid uh, body there for Bobbitt, who will go to the free throw line here for the first time tonight. Minute 29 to go, Don, and it's looking dire for the Gauchos, down by 11, 70 to 59. They just can't get the offense going tonight. Bobbitt's free throw, good. Well, I think they're a team that needs to shoot the ball well on the perimeter, the Gauchos. And if they don't, against a strong team like Hawaii, it's an uphill battle. Second one, no good. Childress has it for UCSB. They trail by 12. Childress front court again. They bring the big guy out there, Yovanovich, to defend on the perimeter. Vincent a three out of the left corner, no good. And then Yovanovich uh, gets down low to get the rebound. And here's a bad pass by Valdez to Taylor. TJ launches a three and he got it. Gauchos down by nine with a minute seven to go. They need to foul or steal. Here's Smith up into the front court. Smith bounces it. Yovanovich goes up with a left hand layup and scores. So the Gauchos not only didn't foul and a whistle here. Not only didn't they foul Don, but for the second time, and I think they're going to change something on the clock here, maybe. Second time in about a minute or so, a minute and a half, Hawaii broke the full court press and had an easy layup at the other end. Well, that's what happens. You know, the idea with a... Don, it's been, uh, it's been all around the perimeter. So now the Gaucho's inbounded. And I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm sorry. Maybe not John's fault. Now Hawaii's got two guys in the backcourt, so they can't roll it in. Here comes Childress. Gaucho's down by nine. Childress to TJ Taylor. Three right side. That short, long rebound. And it comes to Vincent. Vincent puts up a tough shot. Right baseline, no good. Rebound pulled down by Quincy Smith. And now Beeler just fouled out because he had to grab Smith. Unless that's on, uh, yeah, it's on Beeler. He'll come to the bench with five. Thought maybe it was on uh, Vincent, but Beeler had his jersey. So. <laughs> comes Mitch Brewey back into the game. 73-62, the Gauchos down. I think I said by nine a moment ago. My math has been awful tonight, Don. They're down by 11. They're down by too much, I'll tell you that. Yeah. yeah especially with Hawaii shooting. I'm impressed with Hawaii. So am I. I like Long, you know, I haven't seen every team, but I like Long Beach State, I like Irvine, and I like Hawaii. I like us too, we can beat anybody. UCSB can, you know, they proved it going to Irvine and, and beating a very good team. Uh, by 15. Yep. And but uh, this is a this is a basketball team. They do things interesting out on the floor. Smith makes the first. 12 point Hawaii lead. 43.9 seconds to go, and this one is all but in the books. Second free throw, no good. Bryce in the rebound. Michaels had a an off night. He'll drive down the lane. They'll let him go. He'll lay it up and in. And 36.5 seconds to go. 10 point game, 74 64. The ball gets loose. And now the Gauchos pick up in a full court press. And here's Bobbitt taking the inbound, just waiting to get fouled. And he finally does. That one by TJ Taylor. So not too much time elapsed there, Don. But here you need Reggie Miller. <laughs> you need Spike Lee. Spike Lee. Egging him on. 74 64. We have Dave Pintard. He can yell with the best of them. Yeah. Dave moving back up the stairs behind that end zone where Bobbitt will shoot. Two free throws. 74-64, 33.4 seconds to go. Bobbitt, the free throw is good. So the Gauchos, Don, will fall to 9-12 and 12 overall. And 3-5 three three and five five. in the Big West. Both free yep. throws good. Hawaii will improve to 17-3, 6-1 in the Big West. Childress up the floor. Bob's got the jacket on. Childress... Gives it to Brewey, back to Childress, launches a three, no call as he was hit by Yovanovich. It was an air ball, it comes to Valdez, and Valdez will just dribble the clock out as the Gauchos let him go. And final 17 seconds, now Smith out there, Bob just waiting to shake hands. Disappointing night for the Gauchos after they played so well at Irvine on Saturday and beat the Anteaters. First home loss of the season for Irvine, and they come in against a very, very, very good Hawaii team, and they do a great job. Uh, the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors in beating the Gauchos by 12 here at the Thunderdome. Don, the 